a lot has been going on at Leeds United over the past couple of months, but you're facing them tomorrow as equals. Yeah, um, and then there's a massive challenge ahead, obviously, with uh, the threats that they pose and, and with the strikers that they've got. So it'll be a tough evening, um, but we're on a good, good run of form at the moment. We want to continue that. Um, you know, we're getting to sort of the end now, and, and we want to keep improving and, and keep taking forward steps and and win as many games as from from now till the end of the season and, and see where it takes us. Really, all the takeover talk that would have been going on at Leeds. How do you think that would affect their players? Yeah, uh, not so much the sort of business side of it and the takeover, but obviously there was this the business with with um, McDermott sort of losing his job, if you like, and, and then coming back. So for the players, that can be quite unsettling, um, and, and especially for the manager. You know, uh, you're talking about planning for the future and. Um, you know, I think they was in a, a position where they could still make a, a late charge for the playoffs. So it wasn't the best of, of times as well. So um, I'm sure that's all, all put to bed when it comes to match day. But in terms of preparation, it's, it's obviously not ideal for them. Now, one player you will be facing is <coughs> Ross McCormack, who's the leading goal scorer with 26 goals this season. That's some record for a team in the in mid table. Yes, it's, it's an unbelievable feat, and um, he's a player who is, is very much established at, at this level. You know, every transfer window that seems to come round, he's the first one linked with with um, moves to the Premier League or bigger clubs, if you like. Um, so it will, it will be a it'll be a tough task. Uh, not only him, but obviously different sort of threats with, with uh, Smith and, and, and others in their team. So it will be a tough night. Um, but as, as the defence and, and as that back unit, we're, we're feeling confident at the moment, and obviously keeping a lot of clean sheets and, and to to play at home as well in, in front of our home fans, hopefully. That will spur us on to, to keeping another one. You've never played against Ross McCormack. Does that pose uh, difficulties for you? I know the manager will have you gemmed up on him. Yeah, I mean, the manager leaves no stone unturned. You know, he, he'll, he'll show us a lot of, of clips, and, and he's someone I've seen play a lot of times. Um, not played against him, but obviously, obviously seen him live as well. So um, there won't be much that we don't know about him. So we, we should be primed to, to hopefully keep another clean sheet. Everybody's looking at that table and thinking, is there an outside chance uh, of, of making the playoffs? Now, you're, uh, you like a bet. Would you be betting on ball? I know you can't, but would you? Yeah, I'd, I'd have a look at the odds first and, and weigh things up. But listen, the, the form we're in, there's, there's not many other teams in that sort of form at the moment. And um, we've got to play a lot of teams in and around that area. So the, the, the focus has, n has never changed in, in the dressing room. It's, uh, I always talk about what a great group we've got. And, it's a unique experience what we're going through at the moment with that group. You know, it's, it's a it's a fantastic dressing room to be in. Uh, everyone pulling in the same direction. Um, you know, we got a, a hungry manager, a hungry squad, and, and a hungry owner. So they're great recipes for success. So if we can win as many games from now to the end of the season, you know, you never know. Let's see where it takes us.